Hey what's going on guys, Core X Designs here and welcome to another 3D Studio Max tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to model the, uh, how to create a carbon fiber material in 3D Studio Max using the default scanline render. So if you're using V-Ray or Mental Ray, you can go ahead and click on the annotations above and you know it will take you to the respective tutorial. So basically I have like a, uh, uh, an, um, an example of that carbon fiber material that we're, that we're going to be creating. However, this uh, this particular scene was rendered with V-Ray, not with the standard standard renderer. But you can get pretty much the same results with the scanline renderer as well. So if if you use scanline renderer, then you know how to get those results. Okay, so right here we have the scene that we have uh, the carbon fiber material applied to it, and you can see that it's pretty detailed and it looks really cool. So uh, let's go ahead and start right away. First thing you need to do is download the file in the description. What that is is basically three textures um, that the carbon fiber material is going to be using, and uh, really looks cool on this uh, on this particular file because we're going to be using bitmaps as the maps as the diffuse diffuse maps to actually get that effect. So what we're going to do first thing is it hit M to bring up my material editor, and on a new material slot, I'm going to go ahead and create a architectural material. You can also use the standard material. It actually depends on what you want to use. In fact, let's do it with the standard material. And I'm going to click on this button next to Diffuse and click on Bitmap. And I'm going to choose one of these files that we have here. So for this particular model, um, this, um, this uh, particular file will look good. But for your model, it might actually differ. Um, and it, it actually depends on what, what look you're after. And uh, you could use the uh, file separately for that. So I'm just going to take this one for this particular example. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take all of these uh, rim, rim parts and I'll assign the material to those, replacing the original materials. But you can't see them right away. So there are two reasons why you can't see it. First reason, um, you need to click on this, uh, this button right here that shows place, uh, show shaded map and viewport. And uh, that's step one, but you still can't see it. Step number two is selecting one of those and applying a modifier called UVW map. Okay, so if you're a beginner, you won't actually need to set this up any further. It's going to be set up perfectly for you. So all you want to do basically is apply that modifier and it's going to work perfectly. So I'll, what you'll do is I'll really quickly apply that UVW map modifier to all of these five parts. So now we can start working. It doesn't look pretty pretty right now, but um, we can change that using the tiling, tiling right here. So we start to increase the tiling. You can see that we get that uh, carbon fiber look. So I personally like to do 15 by 20 tiling, but it actually depends on what uh, what you get, what you're trying to achieve, and you can use that you can change the tiling right here. So right away we can see that the carbon fiber material is looking pretty cool, and um, yeah. So another thing that you can do is click on this button right here that says go to parent, and move down until the maps roll out, and click and drag this uh, diffuse color map onto the bump map, and make sure you do it in instance and hit OK. So now you can take the bump amount something, and now we can have that uh, 3D looking uh, carbon fiber material. I mean, if you if you if you you know uh, you know have shots from this from a distance, you can actually do with the 2D maps. But if you want to use some of the uh, details and you want to do some like a close-up render, you will need some some 3D. Otherwise, it will look very blank. So I personally don't do that uh, really close-up. I mean, this close-up shots, but. Uh, you know, having bump there is a good way because uh, it captures some lights and reflects others and shows shadows and it really looks cool. So, uh, yeah. So, if you go ahead and click on this button right here again and change the amount, change the picture that we're using, we can see that instantly it creates an overall different look. And it actually depends on what you, what look you're after uh, to see what you want to use. So, if we go ahead and take this third picture right here, it's a, it's a different look. So it actually all depends on uh, what what look you're after, and actually it also depends on what tiling you're using. So if you change this uh, carbon fiber material back and choose 20 by 20, it will it will show a different look. It actually all depends on these two settings, the the picture right here and the tiling. So it's going to be pretty much a very short tutorial. Thanks for watching, everyone. Go, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Favorite the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day.